We're going ahead. Uh, I'm Sean Scott. This is Will Bauer here. We're at WBRO Studios for next we're Not today. Not we're at here. the studio today. We're, we're at, at the, clerk's, the office. clerk's office here in Ford County at uh, um, the Judicial Complex here in English, the county seat. And we're going to uh, be bringing you in some of the election results as they come. So hopefully we'll get, start getting some stuff in pretty soon. So if you get a chance to, while we're kind of getting stuff ready here, go ahead and, and uh, share with somebody that is interested. Uh, there's several people that uh, uh, would like to be able to uh, kind of follow along with one on. It's, it's a primary. Primaries are exciting. Um, they're not as, as as exciting as the general election, but uh, this is the this is step one. So uh, we're just going to kind of see here what we got going on, and as stuff comes out. So bear with us here for just a few moments. All right, so um, as you see, we've got this spreadsheet up on the screen right here, and this is the 18 precincts that we'll be looking at. And as they come in, uh, when we get the results from the clerk's office, then we will be tabulating in each one of those precincts for each one of the candidates. Um, so not sure exactly what order they're coming in, so we might kind of fumble through, um, but we're going to try to make sure we get as close as, close as we can. So. Uh, as we tabulate those in, on the far right side of the screen, you'll see where it says total. And so that will give the total votes for that candidate on the right-hand side of the screen. So in the square blocks, that will be the precincts, each individual precinct. And then on the right, then will be the total votes for that candidate. Now, I've kind of color shaded them up there a little bit. The blue are the Republican candidates, and the red are the... I, sorry, the blue are the Democrat candidates and the red are the Republican say a candidates. Bit, yeah, I was sitting here looking. Bit backwards. Like, no, it's backwards. Yeah, so <laughs> we should do that just to just to mix it up. <laughs> who gets to be blue and who gets to be red? But uh, so the Democrat candidates are the ones in blue. We don't have every uh, candidate on here. We do have, I believe, all of the court or the county races here. We don't have the um, township trustees on here. Uh, none of those were opposed from what I understand with Clerk Osbog. Uh, so um, there really wasn't a big deal as far as the as far as the primary goes on on having those on here. So hopefully um, we can get through this and we won't miss anybody. I do want to acknowledge that um, when we had the interview with Lisa um, here Monday, I think it was. And so I want to go through these. You have to hang on, Dennis. Okay. So uh, there was a there was a candidate that I missed um, running for county council district one, and I think I've got that on here. So county council district one, um, Beth Swan Wilson is a Democrat candidate. Um, Monday. When we talked, um, I don't believe I had her information in there, and I apologize um, for not putting that in there as far as the primary uh, went, but it, it, it wasn't a contested race, so uh, good job, Beth, for the win. Um, and we're going to go through here real quick the candidates again. So I'm going to go through first the Democrat Party candidates, and we are looking at Stanley Pennington uh, for prosecutor, Nick, I mean judge, Nick Seiler for judge, Parker Hudson for prosecutor, Larry Moose Allen for clerk, uh, Tammy Byerly for auditor, Dennis Talley for sheriff, Beth Swan Wilson for council district one, Dale Roll for council district three, Debbie Broughton uh, is township trustee for Jennings, uh, Mary McLean, Potoka Township Trustee, Russell Newkirk, Sterling Township Trustee, Jeff Proctor, Union Sh Township Trustee, Terry Stroud, Whiskey Run Township Trustee, Kelly Berkla, and, and I'm actually I'm not going to go through because that's a big long list of all the trust advisory council um, for uh, each one of those. So anyway, those that's the primary for the Democrat, and then the candidates here for the Republican Party. 
and let's see here, Sabrina Bell for judge, Justin Mills, judge, Chase Smith, prosecuting attorney, Lisa Stevenson, Holzball, clerk, Wendy Marples, auditor, Christian Howe, recorder, Jeff Howe, sheriff, Charles Wright, sheriff, Michael Carlisle, Crawford County assessor, uh, Dan Crisias, commissioner, district one. You do have the colors backwards. Do I what? The colors are backwards. Are they backwards on there? They're not yeah, on I did. here. Yeah, that's just for excitement. Excitement. Yeah. Uh, let's see here, Dan Crisias, Martha Wright, Crawford County Commissioner, District 1, Lucas Stroud, Council District 1, Mark Stevens, Council District 2, Troy Mason, Council District 3, Chad Riddle, Council District 4, and then our Township Trustees, Boone is May Parr, Ina Schwartz for Johnson, Ralph Sharon, Liberty Township, Kyle Wiseman, Ohio Township, uh, Alma Riley, Johnson Township, Louise Wright, Johnson Township, uh, board member, touch board member, Johnson, Diana Main, Liberty Township board member, Gary Main Township, okay, yeah, so now we're back into the Township board members, so those are our candidates for the uh, Republican and Democrat <coughs> candidates. So, let's see here. What we've got, uh, yes, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send some, if you want to, if you have a question or anything, just go ahead and, and type it in the screen, I'll have to switch to our screen, because um, we won't see it on here, will we? No. Okay, so, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, got somebody messaged me here. Are they doing the courthouse? So we'll tell them. Uh, they want to know if we can put it on YouTube. Uh, not tonight. Not tonight. So what we'll do, Kelly, is uh, hope you don't mind me asking. Well, of course you don't mind me asking. You're right there on the public face world. So <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we will, um, we're recording this right now. It's live, but we're recording it at the same time. So after the results are done, we finish the recording, um, then what we'll do is we will upload, probably do it from here. Yeah, we yeah. will. So we'll upload the results from here onto YouTube, um, so you'll be able to see them that. And then, and then that way, it's a shame we can't do it live on YouTube, um, because you people with smart TVs. Uh, okay, well, we can only do what we can only do. So let's see. We were on the other software would be different. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So if you can, uh, go ahead and share the, um, the stream and that way we can get as many people uh, on here as possible because again they're not, you know, Back in the day, historically, it was kind of a social event was to come to the courthouse, and, and uh, I can remember many, many uh, evenings. Uh, actually, back then, we way up into the middle of the night. Um, but uh, then we moved them over here to the courthouse, and and uh, and then um, I think they're the Republican Party. I think they're out uh, to the west. Um, I think they might be out there. That's where they've been in the past. So. Um, it's it's uh, COVID really shut some stuff down, so we hate that. It's, but um, anyway, it's fun to it's fun to at least be on here live. So we're gonna I want to go over a few other things just uh, just to kind of give some some numbers. I had I had taken down some some numbers here. Uh, let's see if I can find those. Um, actually, I may have, may have put them something like here, but I want to go over some numbers here, and so. I've got some of this, this is uh, registered voters, and, and I just went back and got some data from uh, the Indiana, indianavoters.in.gov, and it's statistical information there, and so 
looking back to 2010, um, there were 9,384 registered voters. And, but the population was only about 11,000 something, I think, is that about right? 11,000 something, so, so uh, but only 2,500 people voted, but there were 9,384 registered. Um, same thing in 2014, I think it was, 9,200 uh, registered, 2,500 voted. Uh, then 2016, 9,300 registered and 3,400 voted. And then the per then they purged. Is that about right? When they they purged. Not per not purge. That's a bad term. It's called voter yeah. list maintenance. So Don Wright, can we put you on? I guess. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Don's Don's going to sneak over here, and and so you're the election division. I am technically the voter registration clerk, but I also uh, help out with the election. Okay. So the the ninety three hundred in the state at some point says wow, we've got a lot of people registered that we really don't think even live there anymore. So they, they sent out mailers yes. and they said, if you don't send this back, we're going to pull you off the list. Right. Is that kind of how that works? Well, pretty much if they sent them out and said, if you don't reply to this, we are going to assume you still live there. If it's returned to us for any reason, undeliverable or such, you run the risk of being removed from the voter list. Right, right. And we removed quite a few. Right, okay. So... In 2016 primary, I showed 9,349 registered voters. 2018 primary, 7,662. So, you know, yeah. that's a that's a that's pretty a substantial jump, jump right jump. there. But here's what I like, and this is where people go, oh, all the all the dead voted, and we pulled up, we dug up all the people in the grave mm -hmm. down at Alton or yeah. whatever. So, in 2010, 2,500 people voted in the primary. 2014, 2,515 voted in the primary. 2016, 3,461 voted. That was, 2016 would have been our judge. Yes. Our last, the last judge's race. Where there, were, where there were four. Yeah. I think. Okay, yeah. And then um, 2018, we had 2,200. So we've consistently stayed at that 2,500 registered voters I mean people but came, came in, in to vote people come in and voted yeah um, which not bad it's pretty consistent I mean at least oh, the yeah, consistency that part, is consistency there consistency is off the charts yeah now if the percentage you had, of registered voters to well if you had the 2020 there mm -hmm. it would look astounding compared uh, to those la to those ones you have yeah you're gonna make, you're gonna make me I'm look. gonna make you look so 7,700 registered voters in 2020, and we got 2,879, or 2,900. They're about 2,900. Yeah, 2,900 voted. So it was up it was 700 up. Um, and that was from a presidential. 2018, that was a pre which should have been up, it you would have thought. Should have been way uh, high. A lot more than yeah. that. So, but actually, the, considering where we had been, that was pretty astounding to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and if I go to the general election numbers when we move forward to November, um, they typically about double. We had uh, close to, I'm going to say, four thousand. Yeah. So, 2010, I got 4152. 2014, 3872, 2016, 4766, mm -hmm. and 2018, 4121. And so right. if you use those numbers again, we're about, we're the, about the same. Um, and a lot of those from, and I heard this time and time again today, um, was people don't like to pick. They don't want to pick the primaries. Yeah. They want to wait till the general and choose between right. two. That Which is. Is to not, end it. It's not how it works. That's not the that's not the way the, the system's made up. No, no, it's not how it works. If you're depending on somebody else to make your decision for you. Exactly. You know, if we're gonna say what's your favorite color and you don't get to pick which one of the colors, then you just you have may to pick end what's up, left. You may end up with green. Right. You, know? you have to pick <laughs> the <a> light green. <laughs> so um so it's it is super important to come out in the prime. Now, what a lot of people, you know, a lot of people ex 
you know, like it more in the general election because you get to vote for the person. Right. And you're voting, I like this person, and I like, I think this person is the best candidate for this, and back and forth on the They don't the want to have to pick a, the, a, yeah. a party to, right. to right. vote. And so, and, and I'll have to admit that there was, there were, there were, uh, ballots that I didn't cast um, and that's my ignorance for not researching on the state level. On the state level. Yeah, that's just same, my ignorance. I had the same issue. And Especially I, since our county was moved from District 9 into District 8. Right. We don't get those yes. commercials yes. like you know we got right. from District 9 out yeah. of Louisville Station. Yeah. So we don't know these people. So I, I kind of really, uh, again, challenge people to to research and that's why we try to you know mm -hmm. we tried to do some interviews this year and we you did great with those by we way. yeah we we offered those out to the party and told them hey if anybody's interested in doing these interviews we're more than happy to mm -hmm. and it worked out great and it was great that we got to have lisa on explain a little bit about the yeah. process and where it was oh. all going to be and everything so, watch that this morning uh, did good. You? Yeah, yeah good good so um so right now what you're waiting on is the precinct committee men are we're actually waiting the, on the poll, the poll workers. workers that are there yeah so we're waiting on the poll workers to show up with their results so we can give you some numbers mm -hmm. basically so once sorry <laughs> somebody else sorry about that whoever that was um once so they the poll closed at six what do they do so what do they do now they so they have to you talk, and I'm okay. going to tell these people I'm busy. All right. They have to close down the poll. Basically, what they're doing is they're uh, doing a printout of the results, and then they yeah. have yeah. to uh, do like a mini audit. They have to count their ballots yeah. and make sure the number of ballots that they use match the number that they said they had when they begin with. So they have to do a little math. You know, you take the number of ballots. You take the number of voters that were there. You take the number of ballots to begin with, and you take the number of uh, voters that showed coming in. You take the number of provisional ballots that you had, you add that all up, and it should come back to the original number of ballots you started with. <laughs> that's that's that easy sense. math. That's it easy is, math. It is it? easy math. We, we made it as easy as we possibly could a couple of years ago. So really, the paperwork is not that hard anymore because the majority of the paperwork they can fill out during the day because they have paperwork to fill out about uh, how many voters they have in line at noon, how many voters they had in line at nine, how many voters they have in line really? is six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, mm -hmm. that's state mandated. They mm -hmm. have to do that. And then they have paperwork they fill out for each member of the poll worker staff so they can get paid. So hey. we know they're there. <laughs> so we can pay them. So what does, um, so when it's when it's done, and I, <clears throat> when they hit the stop button or whatever, mm -hmm. um, then that's all done and then they, then they hand do they bring the computer? They bring the hard drive. What What do they do? They How do they are, get that data? Here? They, they, we have a card that is inside that voting machine. Mm -hmm. They pull that card out. Bring us the tape that ran out when they closed the poll. Mm -hmm. They bring us all their supplies back that we have in this nice little rolling suitcase. They bring all that back to us, and then we'll go tomorrow and pick up the machines and the ballot boxes. Right. And well, they have to bring the ballots back as well. Okay. So then, once they come here, you put that into. We take the card that was in the machine and we feed it into what's called the ERM, the Election Machine Re Receiver, and it will print off all the results mm -hmm. from that card. So there is nothing left at the poll station that's going to make any difference to anybody. So then once it comes here and you you get those up onto your in the election division's computer mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. then they print those results out, the ones you'll be bringing into us, bring whatever, to you. and then, and then is it when it's done that Lisa then reviews it and signs off or is there we have to wait 10 days okay. because we have do have a provisional system that yeah okay. so we have to wait for 10 days before we can review provisional ballots and then once those provisional ballots are reviewed if any of those cast we have to uh, mm -hmm. if they're actually eligible to be voted we have to add those into our totals before we can finalize anything mm -hmm. okay so all that stuff like I said, tonight everything that comes in, 
um, is really still kind of unofficial until unofficial. 10 days later. Yeah. And then once it's signed, then the golden seal is on. Yeah, then I have to uh, upload everything to the state, to the Secretary of State's office. And mm -hmm. at that point, it's all certified and done. Right. So in the event that there is a close race and a person wants to do a recall, mm -hmm. um, what is the Shh, time? For, I know word. that, but it happens. <laughs> we, we've seen oh, it. I know. We've seen I it know. happen. You know exactly. Know. Yeah. So what is the procedure there? Does that happen tonight? And then it can. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Like I myself called for a recall, and mm -hmm. I did it election night. That I, night. I mm -hmm. filed that case mm -hmm. that night with the clerk. Yeah. But they have a, uh, I believe it's a 10 day window. So once the provisionals and then yeah because well, once you, everything's certified then right. they can they can file. Because hypothetically if there's let's say 15 provisional votes in there those 15 that can change it one way or the other. Change everything. So then you know then I guess you've kind of got the official number in 10 days. Yeah. And then I, I'm assuming there's another little window there. There is there's a little window after that that they have to file as well. Uh, usually, if it's going to be done, it's done within the first week, right. the way I've seen it. Right, right. So, yeah, that's something you don't want to do because, like I said, this is a, it's, it's, it's a, a headache. It's a process. And, and it depends on the outcome, who has to pay for the process. Sure, sure. So, if if me and you's running, mm -hmm. okay, and 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 we, we feel that it's close for a recall, and I call for a recall, mm -hmm. so I call for it, and then it turns out that you or I lose I have to pay for you it. You have to pay for it. If I win who pays for it? The county. The county pays for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the yeah, way. Yeah if, if the results So it's kind of like change. a small claims. Yeah kind of. Yeah. It is. If the result ch re results change from the election night results then the candidate does not have to pay for that. Right. Okay. So now we learned that. All right. You're being summoned. It's <coughs> like. It does. So, got anything else? Nope. You have any questions? Give me a holler. Will I'll do. see you soon. All right. Meat, meatloaf was great, by yeah, the way. It was so we want to we want to thank uh, Shout out to Schwartz's, Schwartz's, right? Schwartz's, uh, Schwartz's restaurant. So, anyway, um, thank you, Don, for coming in here and kind of explaining a few things and uh, taking over things there while I had a phone call. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm in trouble? Yeah. Okay. Well, you talk while I figure out while I'm oh in trouble. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. All right, still no results yet. Waiting, 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 waiting. waiting. <laughs> you got unofficial? Okay, all right. There's always that secret. Everybody always has a secret. Everybody knows. Uh, let's see here. We got, uh, let's see if I can see anybody's got any questions. We want to make sure that we get uh, get this up on, on YouTube so mm -hmm. uh, Kelly can see it. And I hope that her family's doing well. Always here on the front row in the past, and and that's what we were kind of discussing here is how we used to have it in the courtroom and have the the big screen up. And I tell you how that that kind of first came about. And I think I might have told this before was um, the uh, the uh, we used to do it on paper, and we'd have to write it up there. And so when we moved here to the new courthouse and 2004, is that right? 2004, new quarter? Okay. So 2004, and I think it was in November, It was. It, I think it might have been the general election. Yeah, it would have to be because they moved in in April. So November, that election year, um, me and Chris Adams, we were sitting in the juror box, and I had my laptop in there, and I started putting in, just like you see here, the spreadsheet with the Mm -hmm. And so Judge Lop was sitting behind me, and and he seen that it was automatically tabulating at the at the <laughs> end, and Chris keeps leaning over to me. What do you got? What do you got? You know, and you know we're calculators and we're scratch padding, and I'm like, all right, got him. You know, power <laughs> of the spreadsheet. Yeah. And so Judge Lop then said, uh, 
how can how can we do that here? And I said, well, we can just put it up on a projector and put it up on the big screen, and, and it, that's kind of what now happened. it's on everyone's so, screen. Now it's on everybody's screen, and yeah, it's just and actually then too, Jack Riddle, um, former. Uh, judge and prosecutor here in Crawford County and so he was at the radio station on Tuesday nights doing his show and we had the cable access channel too mm -hmm. and so we would either call the results in I think we were calling them into him on cell phone and then uh, he was I had a spreadsheet there on a computer and then he would put in the numbers and, tabulate and then and then it was putting them back and forth we didn't have team viewer or anything like that at the time so um, that wasn't uh, an option. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. Um, oh, you've got the. Uh, I just now noticed you have the uh, click the captions on here, so it's going to it's going to have to spell um a lot. Um. <laughs> I noticed that at the ball game. So tell me about the ball games. Ball well, games, yeah, yeah, we're broadcasting the uh, softball games, and there actually is one tonight. It might already be live. Mm -hmm. Andy's out there. Broadcasting Crawford County softball. We've been trying to get as many home games <laughs> in as I we did. can. I just did. I just did. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been doing the softball games out there? Yes. Okay. And baseball or just, just baseball softball, softball at the just moment? Okay. If you'd like to be an underwriter for that, you can contact Andy or myself or Sean. There are plenty of opportunities for underwriting for softball. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's see if we got anything else going on here. No questions yet, so of course we don't have nothing really to say. We got zero numbers up there right now, so. So it's a tie right now. It's a tie. It is a tie. Actually, there's a bunch of winners already, <laughs> as we as we discussed. So. And I, oh yeah, and I, I, I want to make sure I got uh, Beth Swan on there. So, I did. Do you see it? Do I have her on her right? Wilson? Is it Wilson? Yeah, Wilson, yeah. I'm sorry, Beth Swan. I'm Phil Connor Swan. Uh, so, Swan Wilson, yeah. So, again, our only contested races this evening are going to be the judge, Republican and Democrat side and the sheriff for the Republican side and the colors are reversed. I know, yeah. I like Just letting everyone way. else know. <laughs> I like them better this way. Uh, let's see here. Which one else is there? I don't think there's any other. I don't think so. I think that's pretty well it on the oh uh commissioner. Commissioner mm -hmm. District One. Uh um, Chrisius and Wright. So I'm trying to make sure that I got all my hat on Chrisius. Yeah, Chrisius and Wright. Okay. It's it's, it's difficult to, to try to make sure you got them all. Um, let's see here. Something else. And I really appreciate Don coming in here and explaining a little bit of that uh, a little bit earlier. And as we look back to some of these numbers and Let's see, we are this 2020. Yeah, that's the numbers that we were looking at earlier on. Some of the the, the difference between when they did the um, when they filtered out some of the inactive voters, mm -hmm. and so again, those numbers have been consistent in Crawford County at that 2,500 on on the primary. So we'll uh, we'll see how things go. So. Yeah, again, Schwartz, we want to give a sh shout out to Schwartz here. He's been a longtime sponsor of WBRO, and they uh, they were gracious enough to bring some meatloaf, meatloaf and mashed potatoes and green beans and some big old pot cobbler in there that I'm going to tear into a while ago. That's why it changed from my white shirt into my gray shirt, because I'm going to get that cobbler all over it. <laughs> Let's see here. What else we got going on? If we've got any of our um, 
if we have any of the candidates watching, um, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Click us, click on there, and tell us hey, and, and we'll wish you the best of luck. Yeah, let us know. Oops. Like I guess I could turn the volume off on my computer. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah, let us know. I guess I could turn the volume off. There we go. <laughs> are are we um oh we're not streaming on the radio right now. Um because Brandon uh, Morgan is doing his show, um, so he's on from 5.30 to 7, I believe, um, 5.30, 6.30, so, um, so you can't hear us on the, the radio at this minute. If uh, once he goes off, his show goes off, we might, uh, we might jump on there and share this on there or something, and then, it, but uh, I think most people are able to get it on to their phones and mm -hmm. if you have if you have any problems I was gonna say oh, I heard him say results coming in so I was gonna say if you if you have any problems getting on text me but if you can't <laughs> you can't text me if you don't um, or if you have questions uh, you can you can text me or my phone in. so uh, Here. <laughs> okay. Uh, ball game. Ball game's not up yet. Okay. So, ball game right now is on WBRO. Dot org, and we're on our Facebook, and then um, streaming on mine. So, hopefully, and then like I said, we'll be on YouTube. So. Um, Later on, if somebody is able to, they'd be able to watch it on TV. You can go to YouTube and and type it in. So that'll work out. And if you get, and if you get a chance to, um, I know it's after the election, but mm -hmm. watch the interviews. And hopefully, in uh, in the fall here, we'll get a chance to um, interview other candidates. And um, we are also looking to get the county council meetings and commissioner Yeah, so meetings. you've done you've done the you've done those in the past, haven't you? Yes. Um, the um, the county commissioners and school mm -hmm. board. School right. board. Yeah. Sorry, get a little delay. There. I'm picky. <laughs> so the school board. Um, you've done those, yes. commissioner, and county council, and then um, maybe as things go around, get Stephanie with the paper. She, you know, might give her some uh, backup and go to some of the the, the school or the city town um, board meetings. See some of those. So, I gotta give. Technical difficulties. So, 
There's some people I just can't get away from. <laughs> So we've got Dawn to say that there, there are some results um, have just come into the building. So we will be uh, getting those to you as soon as possible. <clears throat> also, commissioners. Um, Commissioner and Council, we talked about that mm -hmm. a while ago. Score. So, if anybody else would like anything um, broadcast, um, then of course we got in June. There's going to be a festival down at the American Legion of Marengo Post 84. There's going to be a four-day festival down there, and um, be an opportunity for the community to get out. And then, of course, in July is the is the community parks. Um, I don't remember what's even called now. <laughs> the Ron is going to kill me for that. Uh, but the uh, the the after the fourth there, and then my understanding is um, talking in a council meeting, uh, a town council meeting with Jerry Hanger, uh, who's a member of the Crawford Celebrates. That um, the Crawford Celebrates is going to be assisting Milltown this year, from what I understand. And so I believe their festival that they have is in September, the early part of September, and so um, be exciting to see some. Maybe some growth there with the uh, with the Milltowns Festival. And you can email us at wbrofm at gmail dot com, mm -hmm. or you can text me at eight one two seven seven three six two seven one six. You can text me, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer because I'm usually on with somebody else. But tonight, if you do have any questions, I, I can't. It's hard to answer the phone in here and talk at the same time. So, but I can try to text back. So if uh, if you do. Um, you can text also Will's number or mine. My number is eight one two five seven two eight eight six two, and we'll try to uh, we'll try to get uh, all of your questions answered. So, now when we did this. In 2020, we did the we did the general election, right? No, was it was it not November? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. November of, November of 20. Yeah. Yes. So. And and at that time, you weren't even 18. No, so, not yet. Yeah. And so yeah, you're you've part of your second election already here now. Yeah. Yeah. Second time in the clerk's office. <laughs> well, so there's a cut. There's a couple other things that happen here. Hopefully, you don't have this. This is the pay, only thing that goes on. You, here. you pay tickets on that side. You mm -hmm. pay child support on that side. So let's <laughs> let's keep you in front of this room right here. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, there's a there's another former candidate, uh, Diana Conrad, uh, that's joined in. And I tell you. Um, uh, she ran a great campaign. Uh, she was a candidate for uh, 2018, I believe it was, and a uh, Democrat candidate. And so, uh, unfortunately, she was not able to take a victory. Um, but what's really important is that people make themselves an option, a vote, uh, an option for a vote. It's your civic and duty. It's right. As we've said before, it's your civic duty. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Um, and as we talked about before, is that on the unopposed races for the primary, the party has until, I think, I think Lisa said, the end of June to um, put a candidate in if they wish. So that being said, I want to I want to bring up when I when we get to talking about some some votes here in a little bit and kind of compare some things. Um, in the in the past when uh, let me get to my to my votes here. So in two thousand and uh, let's see here if I've already took my took my stuff off. Somehow I've already erased my results, but in two thousand and eighteen Yes, in 2018, the prosecutor's race um, 
and now I'm trying to think here if, if uh, okay, yeah, in 2018, Nicholas Haverstock was running for re-election, and he was uh, opposed by Lester Shelton in the primary, and so there wasn't a Democrat candidate in the primary, and so it was open. And then Cheryl Hillenberg, who was a former prosecutor, um, she put in as a candidate uh, for the Democrat nomination, and then in the then in the general election, then she um, she won the election. However, that one was a, a recount. Uh, that was that was also a race that was a recount. So there's been lots of, uh, I mean. Uh, I hate it because Dawn's already going to think I'm jinxing her, especially when she watches this, is that over the past, well, I'm going to say probably six years, uh, there has been a contest or a, a uh, um, close race. Recall, a recount, a recount yeah. requested. And so, in one of those had to do with the last time, six years ago, six years ago, there was a recount, and that was for the um, for the judge's office and so Justin Mills and Sabrina Bell were the Republican um, candidates in the 2016 primary and I remember when it come down to the last precincts and I, I, I'm thinking um, I'm thinking on paper it was a dead even tie um, and one of the party chairmen or somebody that already knew some numbers said, we believe it's 11 votes. 11 votes is all it they is. Put money, they said it's 11 votes. Well, they had already kind of got some unofficial numbers because mm -hmm. we were still waiting, but we were at the last couple, and it was a dead even tie. And then I, I want to say that it was like 11, 11 votes is what the primary, um, so if I go back to my, my sheet here, uh, which I knew I'd done that. I knew it already. I forgot that I had, I had changed those. I was hoping that I'd kept them, but I didn't. But um, yeah, those. They, it was very, very close. Before that, uh, so then, so that was 2016. So I said, yeah, 2016, 2018. Then Cheryl Hillenberg and Nicholas Haverstock was. Uh, before that, um, coroner's race. Uh, was contested. There was a recorder's race contested, and uh, I, I know I'm missing one. I, I think I'm missing one more. So I've seen uh, four recounts, and it's a pretty interesting procedure how it how it works. They hand count every single ballot, and and so the ballots come in, and then what they do is 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 there there's a there's a person on the Democrat ticket, the person on the Republican ticket, and then there's a, there's a judge, they kind of call it judge, and so this one reads it, and they say, um, you know, in that case it was it was Mills or Bell, they'll go uh, Bell, and then they hand it to the other party, and they go Bell, and then at that point, it's, you know, there's no question, they it's both said, but if it was, maybe the, maybe the line got, you know, you know, straight or maybe it read wrong or whatever. and if those two then like if, if one person said it was Bell and the other one person said it was Mills then it was up to the judge to then look at that and make that determination of who they felt what the intention was of that voter and so that was um, that was really interesting to watch it and I watched um, I watched three um, you know the actual procedure part I, I got to to, to watch at least three of those and so uh, but something of course the court the clerk's office doesn't want to go through because it's 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 a lot of work I mean it's a lot of work they have to secure the votes and and uh, you know there was it's just a it's a procedure and of course then getting those people in and, and being able to uh, you know recount those and it's just it's a procedure so anyway um, I'm curious to see the turnout uh, for the parties and because there being two candidates for judge on either on either ticket um, 
the last two elections, the Republican Party has had a very high turnout into the primary, into the spring. And I want to say that 2000 and I see 2016 that when Stan Pennington run for the judge and against Stan Faith that Stan received 900 votes um, and Stan Faith received 440 votes so Stan Pennington 913 Stan Faith 440 so you know he had approximately uh, 1,300 people on the Democrat ticket. On the Republican ticket, Sabrina Bell, 949, I did have the numbers, 949, and Justin Mills, 936. Now that was the final numbers. So um, so there, like I said, you've got a difference of 13. Um, mm -hmm. So here you had 1,800, you had 1,800 voting in the primary as the Republicans, and you had 13, uh, 1,300 voting in the Democrat. Now, rolling back 2010, um, when Cheryl Hillenburg ran, I can't remember if this would, yeah, no, this would have been in the general election. Uh, general election, Cheryl Hillenburg ran against Lester Shelton. Um, Lester Shelton had run in 2018 against Nicholas Saverstock in 2010, run against Cheryl Hillenburg, and she received 2,200 votes, and he'd received the 1693, and that was back in 2010. And so there again, you had that total coming in at you know the closer the closer to the 4,000 uh, voters. That's the general versus the primary. So, can I ask you a question? yes, ma'am. Is there any way that you can come out here and among and mingle some of them and bring them in here? Okay, we're back. So, people excited because, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, courthouse, you know, COVID's freed things back up and people are wanting to get back out here and kind of do it as old times again. So, uh, but unfortunately, we're not, we're not in the, uh, in the uh, courtroom as, as we used to be before. So, you can watch us on Facebook. There you go. So, anyway. So we want to thank all the people that are on Facebook right here mm -hmm. watching right now. So hi to all you all. And uh, if you're on here, please share it on your page. And then that way maybe some of the people who um, are asking where are the results coming from, where are they going to be, how are we going to find out about the results, um, they'll be able to see those. So if you are, please share this uh, as it is live and uh, we'll keep We'll keep these posted up so anyway um, where are we at we're still we're still everybody's tied everybody's tied it's gonna be a recall i guarantee uh, <laughs> got a lot of count mm -hmm. so i don't know i might have to go wait me some swartz meatloaf again for uh before things get really real exciting <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna say we've been we've been running elections going on 20 years. Um, like I said, it was 2000, and, and um, I, I know I know we were we were doing stuff at the courthouse, uh, broadcasting some stuff. Carson was and and myself, and um, I'm gonna say 2002, three. So. Uh oh, looks like we've got papers here. So yeah, I'm working on what you need. Here. Okay, so get your tabulation screen up there. Tabulation. Start. These are absentees. Oh. 
Do we want? Is that all absentees? Yeah. For all precincts? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Did okay. You make an absentee line? Huh? Did you make an absentee line? Well, I mean, it's just oh no. No, that's no. what. No, we'll have to wait on that. We did that last time. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. We could uh, no, because then I'd have to. Don't worry about it. It didn't quite fit. In yeah. The yeah, it's okay. We can. We'll have to just because I what we'd have to do is add another column. Yeah. And then, but set the formulas up so it all. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I'm gonna separate and then I'll give you some numbers. Okay. All right. Lisa went out there screaming. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's an exciting place in here tonight. So. Hi, Deborah Armstrong. Thanks for joining in here this evening. Glad to see you coming in from the wild, wild west. <laughs> Kelly, we want to thank you for all your time that you've put on here at the courthouse as a, as a two-time uh, candidate for Crawford County Treasurer, so still keeping the, the courthouse and the treasurer's office a beautiful place, so Julie Elliott, she was the first one to jump on there. She was on the money. I don't know if Julie's still on here or not, but hey to Julie. She's been a long time follower for the station. stream is picking up Lisa in the other room and doing closed caption for us. So. <laughs> Sorry to bore you to death. I didn't, I didn't bring any good, good jokes here or anything like that. That I could. They're, they're, the printer's going. That's printer's going. The printer's going. Hope you got your typing finger ready. Oh, you're a typing. I'm telling. Oh, okay. We'll have to switch then. Step over here and look. Also be sure to check out our website, wbro.org. We are on there. We can listen live on there with the radio station. And as well, check out our video archive page with all of our past videos from the ball games and everything like that. We also have last year's or 2020's election on the video archive as well. So we can't, we can't put these tabulations in because we don't have our spreadsheet uh, added up for it. Yeah. I'm going to do mine, so just let's see here if I can add one, because I can probably add one a little quicker. Uh, the insert column to the right. And 
Yes, okay. So, I'm going to go through some of these. And I'll just put these in here because this is going to make a... We're going to have to bounce around quite a bit, I think, when we get to put these in. So, this is the... These are the absentees. So, absentee ballots come in so far. We've got Sabrina Bell, 32 votes. And Justin Mills at 121. This isn't adding up on all. No, numbers. no, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm doing this. So, so you're not seeing anything. Uh, this is on a different screen here because we've not added it in to their, um, actually we could go to that. So, insert one column to the right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read them to you and you type. Okay. So Sabrina Bell, 32. Okay. Uh, Justin Mills, 121. Now you're going to have to go down to Chase Smith. Which is Smith. So we'll do this. Highlight. Go over here. Go over here. Go over. Okay. And then be looking over there and you'll see where you're at. So you're at Smith now, right? Yeah. Okay. Chase Smith, 101. Uh, go down to Hosebog. Okay. The red one. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. 127. Wendy Marples. It just says Marples. One. Uh, 100. Christian Howe is going to be the C. Howe that's down there farther to the bottom. That first red one. Up. There you go. Uh, 115. And then Jeff Howe, that'll be up to the top, or in the middle, right there, the red one. Yeah. Click that one. Uh, right there, right there. Uh, 124. And Charles Wright, 24. And look for Carlisle. Scroll, scroll down to Carlisle. It's underneath of Christian Howe. Right there. And 101. And Dan Crisius. That'll be up in the down. Yeah, there you go. Crisius. Dan Crisius, 106. And right underneath of it, Martha Wright, 29. And then look for Lucas Stroud. Mark Stevens. It's underneath. The, those will all be the Stevens. See, I knew we'd forget one. There it is down there. Yeah, okay. Stevens says 43. Mason. Troy Mason. Is 25. Chad Riddle. Riddle. Twenty-nine. Okay. So that was the Republican. I think. Okay. So now let's get to the Democrat. So Pennington. 74, Siler 53, Hudson 112, Allen 108, Byerly 115, Tally 106, Swan or Wilson. 34. Uh, roll, 31. And that's it. Okay, the rest of them are all trying to slow. I'm filled up. 
So, all right, so we're going to be bouncing back and forth. But, so we should have got our list before we made the spreadsheet, but it's okay. It all works. It all works. So, um, so put A, B there. So those are the absentee ballots and that have come in, or th these one would have came in beforehand. And so we should be looking uh, right now that Mills at 121 um, and uh, Pennington leading the absentees 74 to 53, uh, Hudson uh, 112, um, yeah, now there, then that's not a contested race that now that's back and forth to the party so so I think really that's our and then uh, Howell Jeff Howell uh, 124 to Charles Wright 24 and then if I drop down Dan Curseas 106 to Martha Wright at 29 um, so that's again just just absent absentees uh, so we've got those in there. So I hear the printer printing. The uh, printer is printing. Um, yeah. So those are those are some th those are kind of the numbers that um, I'll say that I expected or close to it. I remember uh, the absentees being about the same last time we did this. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things to when you look at these numbers here and you see the high numbers with um, and we'll just we'll just use uh, so far the highest number there uh, Justin Mills at 121 on the Republican ticket and uh, Parker Hudson at 112 uh, or no Tim Byerly at 115 yeah at 115 uh, don't take it back Jeff Howe it's like Jeff Howe with 124 or 127 uh, where's 127? Oh, yeah, okay, so, so okay, there we go. So, on the Republican side, 127, and on the Democrat side, 112. Those numbers are really close. Yeah. Um, for the for the, the number of absentees, or for the party votes. Now, one of the things, what I wanted to explain here was when, you, when we get into the, um, like, Lucas Stroud and uh, Beth Wilson, and uh, Charles Wright and, and uh, or not Charles Wright, but yeah, Charles also, but no, I'm sorry. Dan Crisias, Martha White. I'll get this right. Martha Wright. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, right. Um, and uh, let's see, who else? Troy Mason, Dale Roll. Those races are districts. So only people in those districts um, can vote. So, people who voted for Dale Roll couldn't vote for Lucas Stroud. Uh, of course, also they're separate parties. But, but uh, Troy Mason, Troy Mason's on the Republican ticket. So, on Troy's ballot, you know, here in, in English, um, you wouldn't have had the choice to vote for Lucas Stroud. You know, because he's on the he's on the different district. So, so that's why you're seeing those numbers in the 20s and 30s is because they're and only smaller districts. they're only districts they're just district races versus like when you get into in two years when we have or even the school board when we have the at large and that's where everybody in the county gets to vote for somebody just like they do for the judge and the prosecutor and the sheriff and and all those court offices but when you get into the district offices now what's what's unique about that is that you only get voted for through your district, but then when you're on the council, you're actually serving the entire county. So it's, you know, um, a little bit confusing. Yeah, a lot of people choose to run in a district race because you don't have to campaign the entire county. Uh, when I ran for school board, um, that was the only thing I had to campaign was just my districts versus then when I run for sheriff then you've got the entire county that you've got to get out to and it's difficult it's difficult to get out and try to meet with as many people as you the uh, elections are a very uh, they're a very important thing if you take them seriously you mm -hmm. know if you just sign up just because you know it was a bet you know a coffee call or something yeah. like that then 
that's not that's not what it's about because the people who are doing this for the right reason um, they're putting they're putting a lot of time away Effort. from their family a lot of money uh, I'm telling you hoodies t-shirts signs they cost um, so I'll tell uh, I'll tell a, a little story here as as we've got about 40 people on here but when my father he he uh, was a two-term sheriff so he had ran two primaries two general elections and one all four and uh, so I remember my um, in, in 2011 uh, he passed away and and so he, he was close to end of life for him and we were there in the living room and and he was kind of you know in the in and out and, mm -hmm. and I was sitting there with him and and uh, I remember he he kind of you know he's taking a little nap there and he he woke up and he says let me tell you something about the elections I thought here it is the <laughs> the holy grail of all wisdom you know I, and I, I almost want to get something to write it down you know and, and I remember he said, don't buy combs. Nobody uses combs anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and, and after my father passed away and I was up and I was cleaning out in the barn and just kind of doing something. And I run across a box and it fell. And when it fell, it opened up. And there must have been 500 blue combs Elect Richard Scott share. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be the thing. Combs. Everybody, you had the you had the pens and the notepads and and uh, magnets. Yeah. So and everything, yeah. So, but yeah, he said, "Don't don't buy any combs. Nobody nobody uses combs." <laughs> All right. Well, I want to say uh, I want to say we're getting. Uh, Closer, but I don't think we're any. Oh, I guess we are closer. We do have some numbers up there. So, all right. So you have to bear with us when when we're putting these results up because we're kind of having to bounce around here. Again, if you can, um, if you're listening, share this. Um, share it once. Share it twice. Whatever you got to do. Uh, I want to try to be able to get this out to as many people as possible. There's a full courtroom in there, if I if I understand right, and they want a they want a big screen. Uh, don't have the big screen anymore. We've so. all got little screens. Though. Yeah, we've all got little screens. So go get your little screen. Let's see how things are going here. I got mute that again. Sorry. All right. Thank you, Jeff and Tammy. And we read Jeff's name on the board. Congratulations, Jeff, on your uh, on your uh, uh, primary win <laughs> in the uh, Union Township. Congratulations there. And uh, did I get some numbers wrong there with tally? Did I? One oh six is what I have. Well, double check. I apologize. I didn't bring my glasses. Didn't bring my glasses. That's why. We, that's why we have. Let's we'll see here. Uh, 106. No, 106 is what I have for the for that. Is that, is that right? We got that right. Yeah. Okay. Tally 106. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, just want to make sure we'll go over these numbers. Can just look at them again here. I get your piece of paper. You kind of use as a as a guide there go back through these again um, let's see we had Sabrina Bell 32 Justin Mills 121 uh, Chase Smith 101 yep Lisa Hosebog 127 yep Wendy Markles 100 yep Christian Howe 115 115 yes Jeff Howe 124. Yep. Charles Wright 24. Yep. Michael Carlisle 101. Yep. Dan Crisius 106. Yep. Martha Wright 29. Yep. Lucas Stroud 18. Stroud. Not seeing his name. You're right there. Stroud. Mm -hmm. 
18. 18. Uh -huh. Mark's together. Yep. Yeah. Mark Stevens, 43. Yep. Troy Mason, 25. Yep. Chad Riddle, 29. Yep. Okay. And uh, just uh, so let's see here, we'll go ahead and double check the others here real quick. Uh, Stan Pennington 74. Yep. Nick Siler 53. Yep. Parker Hudson 112. Yep. Moose Allen 108. Yep. Tammy Byerly 115. Yep. Uh, Dennis Talley 106. Yep. Be uh, Beth Wilson 34. Yep. Dale Roll 31. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're looks like we're good there. Again, that's just the uh, that's just the absentees that have come in. So, so far, absentee ballots cast uh, 129 on the Democrat and 156 on the Republican. So, 54% uh, were Republican and Democrat was 45%. Uh, so, 7,394. Um, registered voters and 16 precincts were counted out of 18 um, and what else do we got here so our voter turnout 3.85 percent for the in the primary in the absentees okay so if you would just share the video on your page get it yeah. out as many people as possible mm -hmm. Anybody else has joined on here yet? Anybody new? If you can, like I said, like Will said, we it's it's uh we have the technology here. We want to. Uh, I know they can all wait. You know, they wait. It'll be on the news here in a little bit. But we want to know right now. <laughs> We're impatient. We're impatient. That's a, the better the technology is, the more impatient we get. So. All right, so we're getting through that. And, um, I, and then, I don't think you might have had to, to uh, um, go out. I'm not sure if the, if the traveling board, if those get counted as absentee, uh, but we're just talking about a couple. It's, it, but that was one thing that Lisa talked about. Uh, Monday, yesterday, was that there's the traveling board that goes out um, after the absentee ballots are cast. And I, mm -hmm. and I think you have to, I think you kind of have to petition, you know, why you, you physically can't come in, you know. Um, and so that's, I guess somebody might be able to answer that a little bit, maybe if they know, but uh, that's my understanding. And, I, you know, a lot of people do vote absentee. I, I had a guy tell me that he voted absentee because um, he's a truck driver. And he does not know, you know, and he says, well, I'd hate for, you know, Monday night I get a phone call and says, you know, hey, we need you to run to Florida. And, and you know, I, I miss out on getting to vote. So he went ahead and, and voted absentee. And a lot of people always used to use the conception that only handicapped people, you know, voted absentee or um you know, people that couldn't get out. Well, that's not true. There's, you know, it, um, it it has made it easier for people to vote who and just may not be able to. Maybe their schedules, you know, are you know not able to. Maybe they work a shift that doesn't allow them to come in. So, but I had some other. Let me see if what other numbers I had. Some other numbers saved here. I was wanting to look at. Um, yeah. So it looks like I had. 2018 was was this election that's going on okay it was in 2018 uh, I want to say that it that there was about if I remember right it was about a 1600 uh, 16 18 maybe somewhere around there on the Republican ballots um, cast in the primary and uh, so I don't know, we'll see. Numbers are numbers are coming in. 
I still hear them in there talking. They still, the printer ain't kicked off yet. Let's see if I can go, let's see if I, how far I can go back. Apply these filters. Primary elections. No. General elections. No. I, I went over to the, uh, to the clerks, or the, uh, the library. And over at the library, the Crawford County Library up here in English, they have the um, the clarions on microfish or whatever you know. Yeah. You know, put them in there, and and uh, I went I went back, and I I don't know if I've got them on here. I don't think I got them on this this computer, but I went back and I and I copied a lot of those. Um, took a picture maybe or put them on screen or whatever of some of those older results that come in. I'm trying to figure out if they've all come in yet. I think they're all here. All the, they're all in? I think. Okay. I'm trying to count. So you're going to make it hard on us because they're all going to come in at once. I'm not yes, going to be able to. Yes, that's what's just happened. They're all like clustered Gosh, yeah. out here. So, so people are probably actually going to find out results before <laughs> because we're not going to be able to type 18 precincts in before somebody else already knows. So what we may have to do is if they all come in, we may just put those in results in. I kind of, I was like going precinct by precinct. Yeah. Because then you can kind of see um, how it all laid out. But we'll see. We'll try to do whatever, whatever we can. Um, I don't know if it would, if it would be easier to, I don't think it, I don't think it would be last easier. Last year or last time we did this, we did it by each precinct. Well, and the other thing too that was easier for last time it was a general election, mm -hmm. and so you know we were just reading right down one after another. Here we're having to jump back and forth um, with the two parties, so we'll we'll do what we can do. So let's we'll see here. Hi, Mary. Mary is a. Uh, um, you still township trustee, Mary? I see. I got. I got to look here now. I didn't. I didn't notice if Miss Mary was still Patoka, Patoka Township trustee or not. Union, whiskey, whiskey. Precinct or Richie Precinct Committee. Maybe. You have to tell me what you are, Mary. Okay, I hear him saying my name, so it means we're getting ready to type, it looks like. <laughs> just, you just want just the totals. You don't want precinct by precinct? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see if they, if, they, if they come in. If you look, you'll see that, that we've got... Uh, those are just absentees that are up here right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break away here real quick and see what the what the update is. So if you want, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. What do you want to do? Let's do Liberty One. Okay. Liberty One. Are you ready? Do Republican first or Democrat yep. first? Yep, Sabrina Bell. <laughs> All right. Zero. All right. Justin Mills, 16. Chase Smith, 12. Hosbog, 13. Marples, 12. Christian Howell, 12. Jeff Howell, 14. Wait. Christian Howell. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, that was Christian Howell is 12. C. Howell. Yes, correct. It's I 12. To, yeah, I have, to remind, I have to remind you that. Okay. Jeff Howell. Jeff Howell is, I said 14. Yeah, 14. 14. Charles Wright, 1. Give me the one right under Jeff Howell. Right underneath the Howell. Go up. Up, 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 up,
Uh, Michael Carlisle, what 10. What was he right? Oh, I think it was 1. Yeah. Michael Carlisle is 10. Find that. Right there. Oh, there you go. 10. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And now Parker, or we go up to the top to Stan Pennington. 8. Nick Siler, 8. Parker Hudson, 16. Larry Allen, 15. Tammy Byerly, 16. Dennis Talley, 12. Okay. And now we're at Liberty 2. Sabrina Bell, 27. Justin Mills, 163. Chase Smith, 132. Hosebog, 155. Marples, 133. Howell, 148. Christian Howell. Christian Howell, 148. Let's see right. Christian Howell. Christian Howell. Yeah. 148. One. Jeff Howell. 165. One Charles five. Wright. 25. 125? 25. 25. Carlisle. 127. 127. Mm -hmm. Dan Curseus. 142. Two. Martha Wright, 36. Should be the right right underneath of there. Yeah. What was it? Uh, 36. Okay. Uh, Mark Stevens, 147. Okay. Okay. Stan, now we're Democrat. Liberty 2. Stan Pennington, 74. Nick Siler, 43. Parker Hudson, 99. Moose Allen, 101. Tammy Byerly, 104. Dennis, 198. I'm sorry, 98. 98. 98. 98. Uh, okay, that should be all there. Johnson, one. Sabrina, seven. So Bell, seven. Mills, 22. Smith, 19. Holzbog, 21. Marbles, 17. Christian Howell, 21. Down. Jeff Howe, like a 27. Charles Wright, 1. Mike Carlisle, 16. Carlisle, yeah. 16. Yeah. And okay. Dan Curseus, 25. And Martha Wright, 3. Chad Riddle, 19. Okay. Johnson, 1. Stan Pennington, 8. Nick Siler, 3. Parker Hudson, 10. Moose Allen, 9. Tammy Barley, 10. Dennis Talley, 11. Johnson 2. This is usually a 0. I don't think. I don't see. I think there's only 12 people that live in Johnson 2. Uh, Restaurant total 726. Okay. Patoka 1. Uh, where is that? 
path. Yeah. Sabrina Bell, two. Justin Mills, fourteen. Chase Smith, ten. Hogwog, fourteen. Marples, nine. Christian Howe. Marples was nine. Yeah. Christian Howe is the one farther down. Fourteen. There you go. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Jeff Howe, go up. Fourteen. Charles Wright, two. C. Wright, two. Mm -hmm. Mike Carlisle, nine. Dan Cursius, ten. Martha Wright, four. And Troy Mason, fourteen. Okay. Patoka 1, Stan Pennington, 10, Siler, 4, Hudson, 14, Allen, 14, Byerly, 14, Tally, 13, Dale Roll, 14, Here's Mary McLean, which her, she's not on there. Uh, Potoka Township trustee. So, good job, Mary. That votes. Okay. Uh, we're Potoka 2. You ready? Yep. Potoka 2. Sabrina Bell, 4. Justin Mills, one. Chase Smith, four. Hosebog, four. Marples, four. Christian Howe, four. Jeff Howe, five. Michael Carlisle, four. Okay, Stan Pennington now for a Democrat. Hold up. Yeah, up top. Wait, which one do you get? Carlisle, Carlisle was four. four. Mm -hmm. For Potoka two? Yeah. Okay. And Potoka two, Democrat. Stan Pennington two. Nick Siler four. Hudson six. Allen five. Byerly five. Tally ten or five. Roll six. They'll roll six. Mary Mc. Okay, we don't have that one. So, all right. Now Toka two. And Dan Cursilius on Potoka two. If you can go down to that one. I got uh, three. And Martha Wright two. Troy Mason, three. Where's Mason? Three? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got one of them out of order here. So, let's look through there and make sure that everything's uh, all filled in. Uh, listen, Stroud, the zeros are all when it's outside their district, so... Um, so I think we're good. Carlisle. Do we did. Oh, there was no voters for Johnson too. Yeah. Let me double check that. But I'm pretty sure. Sounds like the printer's printing again. Mm -hmm. Johnson. Yeah, there's only six registered voters in Johnson too, and none of them voted. So. All right. If you want to go ahead and switch it. Okay, so as you see, we've got a few of them up, and it looks like we're getting closer to some more. Um, but right now, currently in the Republican ticket, you have uh, Mills leading over Bell 
337 to 72, uh, Pennington over Siler 176 to 115 uh, in the two contested races there. Uh, Jeff Howell 349, uh, Charles Wright 53, and Cresilius, Dan Cresilius 286, and Martha Wright 74. I believe, I believe those are contested races in either party. So, um, looking good there. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. I think they're all adding up right. So we'll see how things are cooking. But I think we're I think we're getting closer. Let's see if anybody's got anything to say. Some posted in Sterling should be in Potoka. Uh oh, we got Kathy. I'm glad you're keeping keeping an eye on me. So, did anything? No? Did anything Sterling? Oh, Some wait. posted in Sterling should be Potoka. Did you I get got one? Five. Okay. Which, which one? Howl. That was Jeff. Jeff. Okay. Kathy Apple's taking care of me. Is she? Yeah, she will. Yeah, Kath, what'd you do? Ah, well, she we got one out of we got one out of order. She seen it. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at my numbers at the end. I wasn't looking in the column, but keep you straight, Kathy. Yeah, that's the way it works. All right, where are we at? Now? Toka two, Jeff Al. Oh yeah, so you got that though. I mean, you just you just had it in the wrong column. Yeah. So don't worry about that. I remember that number being the right number because I was kind of surprised that in Potoka two, both the Democrat and Republican, the most votes were five. Most yeah. of them were all four. I thought it was this straight ticket four, but there was there was a five and four back and forth through all this. So, all right, uh, Ohio one. Let's go down to the south. Uh, where is that Ohio one? We got you. I got it. Okay, uh, Sabrina Bell one, Justin Mills seven, Smith six, Hosbog seven. Marple six, Christian Howell six, Jeff Howell seven, Charles Wright one, Carlisle six, and Democrat Pennington four, Nick Siler two. Hudson five, Allen five, Barley five, Tally six. Okay. So that, hi, sir. Are you having fun back there? I am having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Now we are in Ohio two. Okay, uh, Sabrina Bell, zero, Mills, one, Smith, one, Hosebog, one, Marples, one, Christian Howell, one, Jeff Howell, one, Charles Wright, zero, Carlisle should be one. Yeah, Carlisle one. And Pennington two. Siler. Siler two. Hudson. Hudson four. Allen four. Byerly four. Tally three. That's it. Okay. All right, we got them back again here. Kathy, did I do good this time? I'm not typing. You're typing. Uh, it's my mess so. up. <laughs> Shouldn't have had the dyslexic kid do the numbers. <laughs> All right, let's see here where we're where we're at. I changed my stuff again. Tyler, Tyler, two. 
Mute. 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 All right. So, at the, let's see, we're still with Mills and Pennington. And Jeff Howe. And Dan Crisius in did the you, contested races. If you just hopped on and go ahead and share the feed, yeah. make sure everybody yeah, else can go see ahead. it. Yeah. Oh, we got a new Whiskey one. Run, one and two, Sterling, one, Ooh, two, and three. Man, we're going to be here for a while on this one. All right. Sterling one. This is Whiskey two. Whiskey two. Yeah. Okay. WH two. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Bell, 29. Mills 94, Smith 105, Hold up. 105. Posbog 110, Marples 96, Christian Howe 104, Jeff Howe 109. Charles Wright, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And Mike Carlisle, 93. Dan Crusius, 109. Martha Wright, 17. Lucas Stroud, 102. Whiskey two. You mean whiskey one? Whiskey two. We gotta do a Democrat now. Okay. Pennington, sixty. Siler, thirty. Hudson, seventy-seven. Allen, seventy-four. Barley, seventy-three. Tally, seventy-six. Wilson, sixty-nine. All right, that was whiskey two. This was whiskey one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Bell twelve. Mills seventy nine. Smith seventy nine. Hosebog seventy two. Marples sixty seven. Christian Howell seventy five. Jeff Howe, 78. Charles Wright, 15. Carlisle, 66. 66? Mm -hmm. Dan Crusia, 79. Martha Wright, 11. Lucas Stroud, 77. Democrat Pennington, 39. Siler, 11. Hudson, 44. Allen, 40. Byerly, 42. Tally, 38. Wilson, 39. Sterling one, getting over to English here. Sabrina Bell seven, Mills twenty three, Sm yeah. Smith twenty two, Hosbog twenty four, Marples twenty. Howell, Christian Howell, 22. Jeff Howell, 23. Charles Wright, 4. Charles Wright, underneath of Jeff, right? Here? Up, up, underneath of Jeff. Charles Wright. Let's go 23. So you got Jeff's at 23. 
Okay, yeah, there you go. Charles Wright, four. Carlisle, 20. And Dan Crisias, 19. Martha Wright, 18, eight, 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 eight. And Troy Mason, 22. Be under See roll. Right there underneath roll. 22? 22. Sterling. Sterling 1. Pennington 20. Siler 10. Hudson 24. Allen 25. Byerly 26. Tally 29. Roll 28. Okay. Roll is 28. Uh, so. Yes. I haven't. Wait a minute. We got which roll are you? Mason. Mason was 22, right? Uh, I got something confused. They're probably both. Let me go. Sterling. Sterling won. 22. He was 22 also. They were both 22. Yeah. yeah. That was in both Sterling. Both Roll and Mason and Sterling won. They were 22. Yeah. Yeah, they're both running. One's Republican. Okay, Sterling 2. Have we got there yet? Yep. Okay. Bell 15. Mills 54. Smith 42, Holzbog 49, Marples 42, How Christian Howell 50, Jeff Howell 59, Charles Wright 10, Carlisle 39, Dan Garcia's 49. Martha Wright, 17. Troy Mason, 48. Yeah, we got to go back and check some. Uh, roll was saying, going back and look at roll. Dale, roll 28. Yes, Vicki, thank you. 28. 28 and Sterling 1? Yes. Yes. Okay. By the way, this is not the official. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is me without glasses trying to read little numbers. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get, get caught up. So where Sterling are we? Sterling 2, Democrat. Two. Tanya, I hope I fixed it. Sterling 2. Sabrina, do we, do we do these yet? Sterling two. Sterling two, we did Republican. We're on Democrat. Okay. Do you want to switch? What? No, you that's okay. Type? No, that's all right. Um, Stan Pennington thirty nine. Siler eleven. Hudson forty five. Allen thirty nine. Yeah. Byerly 45, Tally 42, Roll 49, that I ain't screwed up anymore. Nobody else has yelled at me yet, so. 
Okay. Uh, Sterling, 3. Bell, 11. Mills, 61. Smith, 50. Posvog, 59. Marples, 56. Christian Howell, 56. Jeff Howell, 58. Hang on, hang on. You're, you're in the wrong. You're in Union. There you go. Uh, 58. Charles Wright, 15. Carlisle, 55. 50, 55. Carlisle. And Dan Perseus, 56. Martha Wright, 17. Mark Stevens, 56. Okay, I think that's it for Sterling 3. Now, Democrat, Pennington, 36. Siler, 9. Hudson, 34. Allen, 32. Byerly, 36. 36. Tally, 36. 36. Okay. That is all there. So, let me refresh this. Please share it too if you have not shared yeah. it yet. Yeah, if you haven't got on there yet, or if you are on there. Okay. Boom. Okay. Boom. Let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Bell, zero. Mills, 21. Smith, 15. Hosbog, 14. Marples, 13. Christian Howell. Wait, what was Marples? 13. 13. Christian Howell. 13. 13. Jeff Howell, 14. Charles Wright, 6. Mike Carlisle, 14. Dan Crusius, 16. Martha Wright, 4. Uh, Chad Riddle, 17. Okay. Boom, Democrat, Pennington, four, Siler, four, Hudson, six, Allen, four, Byerly, five, Tally, five. All right. Let's see, now we can jump to, uh, what am I looking at here, Are these the totals, what do we got, we still got Jennings 1, we Jennings got unions 2, and, and Je Union 1 and Union 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I may have, I may have the, where are we at on totals? Six, no, okay. Why is this not got a... I think 
guess the total is actually. Whiskey run, we did that. Union. There we go. Union one? Yeah. Bell, 16. Mills, 46. Smith, 42. Holzbog, 52. Marples, 40. Christian Howell, 49. Down, down. I'll have to step on your toe every time. 49 for Christian. Jeff Howell, 53. Charles Wright, 6. Mike Carlisle, 42. Dan Curseus, 46. 46. Mm -hmm. Martha Wright, 11. Chad Riddle, 48. Okay. And Democrat Pennington, 17. Siler, 6. Hudson, 17. Allen, 14. Byerly, 18. Allen, 14. Mm -hmm. Byerly, 18. Mm -hmm. Tally, 17. Okay. That was Union Union one. one. On Here's Union, Union two. two. Is Bell five. Mills forty two. Smith thirty. Hosball thirty five. Marples twenty nine. How Christian How. 36. Jeff Howell, 36. Charles Wright, 7. Carlisle, 27. Dan Curseus, 37. Martha Wright, 5. Chad Riddle, 40. Democrat. Pennington, 4. Siler, 5. Hudson, 6. Allen, 8. Byerly, 7. Tally, 7. Okay. All right. So, let me step away here and let me check because I think I have the totals. So, we're, we don't have... Jennings 1 or Jennings 2? Jennings, we do. Jennings that one. is Ohio 1. Oh, did we not? Did we not do Ohio? We, we did. already did Ohio 1. You already have that one? Yeah. Let me double check the numbers. Uh, let's see here. 5 and 37. How do we get that? Ohio 1. Would we, um, so I've got Bell 5 and 37, do you have, so let me, let me, i tell you what, let me just, let me double check if these are the finals, we'll just populate them to the end. Those are the finals, Sure, I gave, right? Are those the ones you already gave someone, the final, on the Ohio one? No, no, I mean, the totals, totals, right? Oh, you haven't? Thank you. 
thought we screwed something up. What if it should be in the Ohio? Let's do Ohio 1 again. Ohio 1 again. Yeah. Recount. Is, yeah. So, Bell. 5. Mills, 37. Where are you typing? You're not typing somewhere. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong screen. I apologize. Um, Smith, 25. Hosebaugh, 31. Marples, 30. Hold on. Marples, 30. Christian, how? 30. Jeff Howell, 30. Charles Wright, 10. C. Wright, 10. Mm -hmm. Mike Carlisle, 29. Dan Crusius, 26. Wright, 13. Riddle, 32. Democrat, Democrat, Pennington 26, Siler 23, Hudson 42, Allen 39, Barley 37, Tally 45. Okay, that's Ohio 2. Was Ohio two? No. Okay. Well, yeah, that was. No, this is Ohio two. Now we're in Ohio two. Okay. They, they get the papers switched around. Ohio two, Bell zero. Have yep. we done this one yet? Okay. Twenty. Twenty for Mills. Yes. Smith eighteen. Hosebog twenty. Marples 18, Christian Howell 20, Jeff Howell 19, Charles Wright 2, Mike Carlisle 15, Dan Garcilius 16, Martha Wright, 6. Chad Riddle, 20. Ohio, 2. Democrats, Pennington, 13. Siler, 12. Hudson, 23. Allen, 22. Byerly, 23, tally 20, that's all I got there, that's Ohio 1 and 2, so, I'm almost going to run, I don't, I don't know where this one, where's this one come from, Ohio 1, 5, 37, Pennington 4 and 2, that doesn't match up. So this is the ones that they to. give me originally. Yeah. So they must have not. I don't know why, how I got that one. Ask her about that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bookmark this one. So. Right. Go ahead back to there. Okay. So we're getting closer. Um, we are. Still, remember Johnson 2, there were no voters. Uh, so Jennings 1 and 2 are the only ones that we don't have. She's got the final. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Jennings 1 and 2, so we can at least put those in. But if not, what we may do is put in this, may put, if they don't give us the Jennings um, 1 and 2, then what we'll do is we'll just put beside the total, we'll put the total <laughs> yeah because 
this total is including the absentees. Uh, I'm not sure if their yeah, their total should include absentee, absentees also. So, uh, Chad, hey buddy, glad to see you on here. And uh, please so, share. Yeah, please share. We're we're just about winding down here. And Tanya, I'm so sorry. I think you did these for me one year. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Will here can live up to your expectations. <laughs> I think before I was the one always typing the numbers in. They were reading them to me, and I was yeah. typing them in uh, when that's we were doing we it in the and courthouse. And the last time, yeah, I think that's what you were reading them to me. I was typing them in. So can't have the same thing all the time. So again, Thanks we want to thank everybody for joining in so far. And who else we got here? Said hi. Gabe stuck around. Dennis, Dennis is, is on. on. Good to see you on there, Dennis. Hope everybody has got it. Uh oh, she's handed me something. What's this? That's the totals. So okay, do you got Jennings one and two? She she handed it to me and said this is the final total, but they're like by Republican and by Democrat. Okay, so this one is so this is the total. I think. Okay. Well, it says seventeen of eighteen precincts. Okay. Well, because there was none for Boone. I mean okay. Johnson too. Johnson too. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So, so I'm going to go ahead and use these numbers. Yeah. That's okay. What she told me it was the final. Okay. So what we're going to do? Go to the go to the um, spreadsheet, and we're going to put just go right beside it. Now just go right beside it. Down. Go right there beside the 172 for Mills or for or Bell. Let me make sure it's in on the screen. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, so these are the totals, um, and we don't have Jennings 1 and 2, so we're just going to put the totals to make Miss Tanya happy, okay? <laughs> so, all right, get the can of say. All right, are you ready? Yep. So, Bell, 2, 2, 2, Mills, 921, Smith, 835. Hold up. Smith. 825. 835. 835. Postbog, 933. 933. Marples, 816. 816. Christian Howell. 892. 954. Charles Wright, 172. Um, here. What was it? 172. 172. Yeah, so we've got some numbers wrong there. Uh, let's see. Where do we go? Oh, Charles Wright, 172. Uh, Mike Carlisle, 781. One. Dan Curseus, eight five one. Martha Wright, two two two. Martha's under Dan. Hey, Don, Lisa, That's where you get that messed please. up. That right there should be two two two, and the one underneath the Jeff should be the one seventy two. Okay. Um, Dan Curseus, eight five one two two two. Okay, Lucas Stroud, two five zero. Mark Stevens, two two seven. Where are you? Down at the bottom. Two zero six. Chad Riddle, two three four. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. And Democrat. Pennington, four five six. Siler, two nine five. Hudson, 623. 
Allen 584, Byerly 616, Tally 611, Wilson 149, Roll 170. Who did we miss? Mason. Tori Mason, 206. The Stevens is also 206. Stevens is 227. 234 for Riddle? Yes. Okay. All right. Type total there. And then if you can, can you go ahead and click on the U column and hide it? Go at the top, go to the top, and then see if you can hide it. Hide column, there you go. So that'll give us the total. Quick, no, go out of it. And yeah, okay, let's go back to you. Okay, Kathy, you are coming here next time. <laughs> Replace me. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was Martha's. Yes, you got it. You got it. So, hey, Ryan Pritchard. So, all right. So, this is the the total numbers on the end are what just was handed to me from the clerk. So we we may have um, well because we don't have the Jennings one and two in there. So that's why we've hid that that column total there so um, anyway as as we speak uh, as what we see for the next 10 days the unofficial uh, results are Justin Mills is the Republican candidate for 77th Circuit Court of Crawford County and Stan Pennington is a Democrat candidate for 77th Circuit Court Crawford County and uh, of course we on the other contested races uh, Jeff Howell uh, Jeff Howell with uh, yeah Jeff Howell 954 to Charles Wright 172 and and Dan Curseus contested in the Republican commissioner's race uh, 851 to Martha Wright of 222 so if I'm thinking right, those are all of the contested, um, the contested races. And if we um, look right, I don't know, does that look right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kathy, do I need to check Stevens again? Let me check, let's check Stevens again. Probably got these papers here in the other room. And she's, and she's already telling. She already knows what it's supposed to be. So we'll double check here. Mark Stevens. All right. Go through. I'm gonna go through these. Just look at them in the totals. Um, and we got Bell two two two, Mills nine two one. Smith eight three five, Postbog nine three three, mm -hmm. Marples eight one six, mm -hmm. How Christian How eight ninety two, yep Jeff How nine fifty four, yep Charles Wright one seventy two, yep Mike Carlisle seven eighty one, yep uh, Dan Crisius eight fifty one, yep Martha Wright two twenty two, yep Lucas Stroud two hundred and fifty. Mark Stevens, 227. 227. Okay. Troy Mason, 206. 206. Chad Riddle, 234. Yep. May Parr, she's the Boone Township trustee. Well, that's not on there. I just will say hey to May. And jumping over 
to Democrat. One more time, Stan Pennington, 456. Yep. Siler, 295. Yep. Hudson, 623. Yep. Allen, 584. Yep. Byerly, 616. Yep. Tally, 611. Yep. Wilson, 149. Yep. Roll, 170. Yep. All right. Well, that's the numbers as they came. Now, I will... Since I have the I have the the uh, um, results here, I'm going to go ahead and read off uh, our our other numbers that has come in from the uh, other races. So Todd Young was uh, uh, U.S. Senator, 954 votes. Larry Buchan, 777. Mark Messmer, 793. Steve Bartels here from Crawford County, 884. State Rep. And so those are those in the townships, which they were all uncontested, but uh, May Parr, Boone Township Trustee, Ena Schwartz, Johnson Township Trustee, uh, Alma Riley, uh, two votes over Louis, Louis Wright, one for Johnson Township. Oh, that's the associate. That's the board. That's the board. My bad. Township Liberty Township Trustee Ralph Sharon, 181 votes. Uh, Ohio Township Kyle Wiseman, 54. Uh, Ohio let's see convention convention delegates. So our convention delegates, the top three would have been Lloyd Arnold, 633. Reggie Timberlake 663 and Chase Smith 576 uh, followed by Heather Setzer at 441 that was the Republican numbers and the Democrat numbers here we've got Thomas McDermott Jr. Um, in the represent for US Senator uh, looks like Ray McCormick and then of course we went through our local candidates and then go to our Jennings Township trustee Debbie Broughton Joe Schwartz Johnson oh that's a social, that's a board uh, Patoka Township trustee Mary McLean Sterling Township trustee Russ Newkirk Union Township Trustee Jeff Proctor, Whiskey Run Township Trustee Terry Stroud, uh, Jennings, let see where Jennings won, James Tyler, everybody two, uh, precinct, precinct Committeeman for Jennings won, James Tyler, Precinct Committee Liberty won, Wayne Bullington, uh, Precinct Liberty two, Major Dodge, Toker 2, Walter Mitchell, Sterling 2, Dale Roll, Sterling 3, Mike Hosbog, Union, James Elliott, and Whiskey Run, David Jones. I'm going to look because I didn't see the precinct committee ones for the Republican ticket. So, okay. All right. What do you think? Anybody got anything? Uh, Jeff and Tammy, thank you. Chuck Pirtle, thank you. I was watching. Uh, why don't we have Liberty 1 and 2? We do, don't we? Yeah, Liberty 1 and 2 is on there. I think you meant, I think she meant probably Jennings 1 and 2. Um, the reason... Uh, Johnson was none. I'm yeah. saying Jennings 1 and 2. Um, Deb, the reason that we don't have... Jennings one and two is because they actually got us the end results, uh, the final results before they handed us Jennings one and two. So we just went ahead and put the totals at the end. So that's so why the final total is the last one here. This yes, is the, the white the white column right there. That's your that's your totals. So um, yeah. So if you want, uh, it's, I mean, they can pretty well figure it out. But we could highlight those. You can do that if you want. Just pick the one and then hit the 
No, yeah, there you go. That's fine. Just get yeah, highlight them all. No, Oops. that was the color. Go back to it. Just hit that. Go to do black. Now go back to the paint bucket. I'm screwing it up. You're okay, you're good. Paint bucket, not the letters. There you go, there you go. And then make it yellow. There we go. All right. So we had, I, I, I seen it one time over 100. Mm -hmm. um, 100 watchers. Uh, still got 60 of you on there. So if you're still watching, uh, if you have any questions, um, thank you, Kelly. Apologize for everybody inside expecting to see a big screen TV up that it wasn't there. Um, Diana, thanks for watching us this evening. Hopefully we see you back on the ballot soon. Um, Jason, appreciate you uh, coming on here and, and paying attention and being uh, on here with us this evening. Who else we got? Uh, Deb, hope we explained that for you okay. All right. So... I think uh, thank you, Kathy, for keeping us in line. Yeah, definitely, Kathy. Oh wait, I'm not sure if you're on the ballot. If you're on the ballot in the fall, it's going to have you to. Uh, um, you can come and help us. So. <laughs> All right. Well, what what time is it? JC store open? I gotta I gotta <laughs> get bread and milk. Thanks, Vicky, for keeping us in line too and watching those numbers there and catching a couple of those discrepancies, uh, discrepancies there. But, we still got on there. Does anybody got any questions? Um, if so, we'll give you another uh, couple sure minutes here. Follow us on Facebook. Yes, Dennis. Thank you for being a candidate this year. It's a it's a big step. And uh, thanks for sticking on here. With us. So we're going to keep this on here for another two minutes, and then we're going to stop the live stream, and we're going to upload it to YouTube. So um, just as fast as the internet is here. Well, okay, you want to see percentage. Okay, so I'll get you this right here. So um, pull the screen back up. So just um, put this right here. Right, he can't see because he'll be, go underneath it here. Just type Republican, just REP. Eleven ninety six, and put this in the next column or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Eleven ninety six, and underneath of it, put Democrat D E M, and cast number there seven sixty five. Okay, so uh, voter turnout. It looks like we had nineteen hundred and sixty one total ballots cast. 60% uh, of those were Republican, 60.99% uh, were Republican, and 39.01% uh, uh, were Democrat. And the percentage of ballots, or the, the percentage total votes, 26% um, to the registered 7,503 uh, registered voters in the county. And so we had a 26% turnout uh, here on election day. 1,600 of those were Republican, 285 absentees, and 636. Oh, hang on, I'm sorry. 1,676 total voters today. 285 absentee ballots for a total of 1,961. 1,040 Republicans ballots cast today. 156 absentees, 636 Democrat ballots cast with 129 absentees. So, Jason, I hope that answers your question. And we'll put, um, go ahead and just put, now they, they can, they'll figure it out. So, okay. That, um, hope that's got you, Jason. So, I don't know. Anything else? I did, did my time up? Yep, my time's up. I said 6.30 or 8.35, so it's 8.36. So we're going to go ahead and shut the live stream down here. We again, uh, Sean Scott, Will Bauer here, WBRO. Thank you for tuning in here with us. May the 3rd, Crawford County uh, primary at the courthouse here at English. 
and uh, um, we'll be back in November. Catch you on the flip side. All right. Thanks again.